subscribe and hit the bell icon for more notifications. An academy is providing complete courses and lectures on TS, MZ and APMZ. It is live now. Students can attempt to practice test for absolutely free of course. Just you can just go through this page and uh, register for an academy plus. friends welcome back to best way to study we are going to see what are the top 500 questions in physics for mset exam now let's begin this video without any delay coming to the next question which two of the following five physical parameters have same dimension okay it's really important to read the question carefully they are asking which two of the following five physical parameters have same dimension Options are energy density, refractive index, dielectric constant, Young's modulus, magnetic field. Okay. And uh, here are the options given 2 and 4. 2 and 4 means refractive index and Young's modulus. 2, 3 and 5 means dielectric constant and magnetic field. 1 and 4 energy density and Young's modulus 1 and 5 energy density and magnetic field the correct answer is 1 and 4 energy density and Young's modulus okay so coming to the next question parsec is the unit of dash okay so parsec is the unit of what options are time distance frequency angular acceleration the correct answer is distance parsec is the unit of distance okay coming to the next question light year is the unit of dash okay options are time speed distance none of the above the correct answer is distance light year is a unit of distance so option c is the correct answer coming to the next question they are asking us to complete the statement okay the magnitude of any physical quantity is after this what is the statement we need to choose out of these options out of the given options okay so options are depends on the method of measurement does not depend on measure, method of measurement is more in SI system than CGS system than in CGS system directly proportional to the fundamental unit of mass length and time the answer is option B the magnitude of any physical quantity does not depend on the method of measurement okay so yeah that's it for today hope you found this video useful don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you'll never miss a video from best way to study and also don't forget to like and share this video with all your friends thanks for watching